Ha! <laughs> What's up guys? Back with another video. Today we're going to go ahead and basically what we're going to do is that I'm going to teach you how to set up Kodi and install it onto a Fire Stick, Amazon Fire Stick. Um, this one's bought straight from the store, so the only thing I did was set it up through Wi-Fi and um, configured it to my specifications like installing Netflix, Hulu, Showtime, and YouTube. Those are the only things I've really done with it. Uh, so right now, um, what we're going to do is that we need to download a couple softwares. One is that we need to download, since you can obviously see my screen right in front of you, um, we're going to install Kodi and we need to download a couple softwares. First off, we need to download ADB Link. If you don't know what ADB Link is, it's basically a uh, software we're going to use to connect to the Kodi stick remotely. And that's what we're going to use to install um, Kodi onto. We're going to use this to install Kodi onto the Fire Stick TV. I'm going to go ahead and delete this current configuration, completely reset this thing so you understand how to set up ADB Link. You can also install any other application. So if there's another app you want to install onto the onto Kodi, go ahead and do it through this soft do through it do other uh install more apps instead of Kodi. You can also use ADB link for that too. Just make sure it works for this specific um uh fire TV. Um so first off we need to go to Kodi and download it. So I'm gonna be able to download it really fast. I'm not too sure what you guys' internet connection speed but I can download files pretty fast. So we're gonna go ahead and download the ARM right there. Okay. And that should be the latest version. And if you need help on specifically installing Kodi or anything, any additional help, uh, Kodi, uh, the Kodi website will, Kodi Wiki will help you out with that. So first off, we need to figure out what the IP address of this, of the, um, like when we click new, click new, bleh, sorry, we need to know what the operating system is for the, uh, or what IP address it, um, the Kodi is. So we need to go all the way down to device, go to about, then go to network, and it should say right there. Oops, it's not showing, you guys can't see it. Um, it's right there. If you need, sorry, I should have probably showed you where to get there. Okay, go to settings, device, about, and then go to network, and there's the IP address. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up real quick. We're not gonna, we're not gonna connect to the device just yet. We just need to get the records on right now. So first off, this is the Amazon Fire TV. You can name it whatever; it doesn't really matter. You just need to have a name for it. 192 is what my IP address is. 168.1.11 is what it says right there. It's 1.11. And uh, see, everything seems to be alright. So we go ahead and click that. Okay. So first off, but to make it so that you can connect to it, if we go back. Go down to developer options and enable ADB debugging and also uh, apps from unknown sources. You gotta enable both of those. Make sure they're both on so that um, you can go ahead and start connecting to it. So now we're gonna go ahead and connect to it. Connect. And it says ADB is running. So we can now install Kodi app. So we'll download the APK. Since I already downloaded the APK, which if you don't know what which one to download, it is release ARM or this one nightly which I don't really know what the difference is but either way um, you can choose whatever I'm choosing that one um, you cannot use the uh, ARM 64 bit can't use the I don't think you can use any of these two but I believe you can use x86 you might be able to use these ones I don't know but uh, I chosen the ARM because that's just what works I believe that one will just give you the latest version of Kodi but um but yeah so you can also uninstall APK so you not only can you um, install stuff but you can also uninstall um, pr um, apps remotely too um, you can also load the console backup restore keypad cache um, move Kodi data there's a bunch of stuff you can do uh, what else uh, push pull delete uh, add-ons directory, system directory, SD card directory, sounds directory, system directory, there's a bunch of stuff you can do so if you get bored you can mess with the app itself. Okay so we got it set up so we should now see Cody, Cody uh, inside the virus TV so we'll go ahead and go back, 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 back and where are you? Where are you? recent your apps okay let's see if we can find. oh there it is there it is 
So I'm going to move this over to right beside Netflix, right there. That's where I want it. And then we're going to go back. We're going to launch up Cody. And there we go. So now we're going to go over on how to set it up. Now, for those who don't understand, I'm going to make it so that it's super easy for you to understand. Super easy because I know the new menu system is like completely different from what it, what the previous Cody um, looked like. So we're going to go ahead and edit this. We're going to change the interface to something more um, uh, doable. Uh, I'm going to be using... Uh, let's see, Metropolis, Mimic, Nebula, Rapier. Oh, that's a horrible name for a skin. Uh, Experience 1080, I don't see the point of that. Uh, let's go with Nox. That's the one I use. I use Nox, Aeon Nox. Um, if you didn't know how I got there, I used the little, up here was a little gearbox. I clicked that and went to interface settings. So the menu is going to completely change, so it's not going to look the same. This is going to make it a little easier for you to use, especially for your um for anybody else who uses it too. In case you don't want to really do that much customization, you just want to watch movies. This is a great customization to do. This is up to you. If you do not want to follow this part of the video, you just wanted uh, Cody installed onto your uh your fire fire stick, you don't have to watch this. It's up to you. But I'm just going to show you how I customize my Fire Fire TV. So, okay, so just wait for a second. It's taking a little bit, taking its time to install though. We don't even need ADB Link anymore, so we can go ahead and close. See if we can get a better, bigger camera. Okay. There we go. So that's probably easier to use. Now we're gonna go to we're not gonna go to configure skin just yet. We cannot do that. We cannot configure skin just yet. Uh, I thought it was installed. Well, I guess Nox was not installed. Uh, Extra C was it not installed? Oh, there we go. Okay, so can't do that. Uh, All right, we just skipped a little bit. All right, we're gonna go to add-on browser. All right, okay, so this is where we go ahead and install a zip and install respiratory. So we're gonna go to skin file manager, and we're gonna type in the source for Exodust and also Phoenix. So whatever one you use, we'll be able to get both of them. Uh, shoot, that's not the. H T T P semicolon slash slash fusion shit uh fusion all links will be in the description bar for you to go ahead and get the files and stuff so in case you're wondering it'll be it'll be down there T V add ons N S dot A G and then boop there we go and I'm just gonna name it fusion I just put F U <laughs> I, I I don't really care what the source name is I don't uh because I'll remember whatever it is so now we're gonna go to add apps and go to add on browser right there and on browser. Then after that, we're going to go to install from zip. Oh, when you get this, when you get this pop up right here, go to settings. Click that button. Yes. Press back again. It, this thing, I swear to God, this thing acts like as if it's its, its own proprietary operating system. I swear. Uh, we're going to install from zip. F U or whatever your name is, whatever you named it. English and if you want Phoenix it should 
be somewhere around here. Where did you put it? I thought it wasn't in here. I don't know. You might have to find the ref re repo for um, Phoenix because this one is just for the Ooh, Google code right there. Huh. This one's for Exodus. So we click on Exodus. So we do, ah, there we go. Go to my add ons, add on respiratories. Exodus. Update. Wait, no. It's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Install from respiratory. Re Exodus. Video add ons. Exodus. Install. Now, give it a minute because it might not show up just in a second. Oh, shit. I just closed out of. Just close out of Cody. Please be loaded. Please be, please be, please be. Yes! Loaded. Okay, so while it's go ahead and doing its thing, we're going to head over to skin settings. Because by the time I get over to skin settings, it should already be done installing. Go to setup, Nox main menu. And then we're going to disable pictures, disable music, depending on what, and whether or not if you actually want those selections to be available. Uh, for movies, we're going to go ahead and change the... Uh, action of where it goes. Go to video add-ons. Library or and then video add-ons and then go to Exodus. And go to movies. And then create menu item here. And then old every time when you click movies it'll take you straight there instead of going somewhere else. So TV shows, same thing in Exodus. Or Phoenix, whatever you're trying to do it for. Video libraries. Video add-ons, Exodus, TV shows, create menu item here. And go ahead and disable those ones. You can also set up custom ones, have them custom names too if you want to. What are you doing? What are you doing? Camera, don't auto don't you focus. Focus. There we go. It's good enough. Uh let's go to videos. Um Mm, no, we don't need that. Let's go to apps. We're going to need apps because apps actually, that's how you install other um, other um, respiratories and stuff or other add-ons and stuff. So you're going to need that. System, power, and favorites. Going to need to keep. Weather, turn off. That's why I have my phone. Concerts, turn off. And there you go. So you go back, back. And as you can see, you see the add-on system, power, favorites. If you favor a TV show, like from movie, movies or TV show, you can also it'll be listed under favorites, so you don't have to go over there. Um, this background, I don't know if you can make it change. I'm not too sure, um, but I'm quite sure that there's a way of doing it. I'm quite sure that that's a movie by Saranda Saranda Bullock, Martha Bullock. I don't. Know. I don't remember what your name is, but you're probably going to make fun of me obviously, by now. Um, but if we click movies, and there you go. It takes you to the movie section. And if you go back, back again, TV shows, takes you to the TV show section. There you guys, there you guys go. A little easy way of doing it. Not only that, it's not jailbroken. So you didn't need to do any of them, you know, fancy stuff like jailbreaking and all that. We didn't need that. Um, it gives me the option to be able to update this. I can update um, the actual operating system of the Fire TV whenever I want with no issues. And also you can watch um, Amazon Movies, uh, Netflix, Hulu, Showtime, YouTube. All of that within just this app. You can... You know, this is like basically the all-in-one device. If there's a movie that's not on Netflix, you can go to Cody and watch it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hit me the like, hit the subscribe button. If you want more videos like this, you need to tell me in the comments of what you want, and I'll see what I can do or even apply, reply back to you. If you guys want to check out my Discord server, all you have to do is just hit the little link in the description. Oops, I just showed my CPU temps. All you gotta do is just go over here and I'll be online 24-7 on Discord. Catch you guys in the next one. See you guys later.